dear friends let's see this particular question the elements beryllium magnesium and calcium each having two electrons in the outermost shell are in periods 2 3 and 4 respectively of the modern periodic table okay answer the following question giving justification in each case so the first part of this problem is what you write the group to which these elements belong so to find group of any element okay to find group of any element first you have to find number of number of valence electron okay number of valence electron and if your number of valence electron is 1 or 2 your group will be exactly equals to the number of valence electron that is 1 or 2 okay but if it is greater than 2 that is 3 4 or up to 8 in that case what you have to do you have to just add 10 in each case to find the group okay so in this case if the valence electron is 3 that is greater than 2 you will get the group number that is what your 10 plus 3 that is what your 13 okay now see how many valence electrons are there in beryllium magnesium and calcium each having two electrons in their outermost shell and how valence electron is defined valence electron is defined as the electron in its outermost shell so in this case beryllium magnesium and calcium each has what two valence electron and if it has two valence electron it's i mean all these three elements will be in the same group that is your group number two so they are in what group number two, two. so the answer of the first question is what it is what two perfect okay and then which period this is what is second period this was the third period and this one is your what fourth period okay you can see in the periodic table also this one is your second period this one is your third period this one is your fourth period okay and this one is your group two this one is a group one and this is your beryllium magnesium and what is that calcium okay <clears throat> now come to the second part name the least reactive element okay and then the third part is that name the element having largest atomic radius so first we will attempt the third part okay so that it will be easier to understand the reason behind the answer of the second part okay so first we will see the third part largest atomic radius you know when you move from top to bottom in a periodic table when you move from top to bottom your atomic radius your atomic radius what increases your atomic radius increases now why it is happening now atomic radius is increasing so let's see this is what your beryllium the configuration of beryllium is what you are basically it is what your 4 and configuration is what your 2 and 2 then it is what your magnesium it is what your 12 and the configuration is what your 2 8 and 2 and the last one is your what calcium and the configuration is what your 2 8 8 and 2 you can see that in beryllium how many shells are there there are two shells in this case 1 2 and 3 how many shells are there three shells and in this case how many shells are there four so when you are moving from top to bottom your number of shells are what increasing and if the number of shells will increase your atomic radius will definitely increase okay you can see also this is what a beryllium how many four protons and only two cells are there in this case in case of this is this is what your beryllium okay this is what a two electron and this was a two electron okay now what about magnesium magnesium is what your 12 proton and 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 this is what your first shell this is what your second shell and 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 this one is your what third shell this one is your third cell okay so because you have added one extra shell its radius will what increase and this is again 2 8 and 2 okay now now calcium this is what is how many protons 20 protons and this is what is first shell this is what is second shell and this one is what third shell and the last one is what your fourth cell okay and if you are you have added the fourth cell again your radius will further increase okay your radius will further increase okay so this is what a two electron this one uh, this one is your eight electron this one is your eight electron and this one is your what two electron okay now you see these all are metals okay these all are what metals and you know that metal has a tendency to lose electron and the one which will lose electron easily 
will be what more reactive which the one which will lose electron more easily will be what more reactive more reactive simple it will be what more reactive okay so who will lose electron easily simple let's see who will lose electron so in this case if you see these two electrons are what nearer to nucleus these two electrons are further far from nucleus and the distance between these two electrons and nucleus are more even okay so that means in this case your force of attraction will be what least okay and in this case your force of attraction will be what maximum because your outermost electron is what nearer to nucleus so in which case it will be easier to remove an electron of course when the attraction force is what weak an attraction force will be weaker when your electron is what far from the nucleus that means in case of calcium because these electrons are what far from the nucleus with respect to mg and be in this case it is easier to remove an electron this particular electron and that's why that's why we can say that calcium is what more reactive okay so simple what is the answer of the second part name the least reactive element because the reactivity is what increasing because uh, the element which is coming below has more tendency to what lose electrons so that means least reactive element out of these three is what your beryllium okay and name the element which having largest atomic radius so of course as i said that as you are going uh, you know you are going below your number of cells are what increasing and if the number of cells are increasing definitely atomic radius will what increase so calcium has what largest atomic radius hope you understand this concept thank you